welcome back to our new daily blog based on the book Prayer by Philip Yancey. Now Matt gave us a lovely introduction on Saturday sitting by the apple tree in the prayer garden. Um, I'm afraid um, it's not so pretty in my living room but <laughs> he, um, he gave us an introduction to the theme of prayer and about our own prayer lives. So we start looking at Philip Yancey's book today, the first section being entitled A Universal Cry. The idea of prayer as being universal, that everyone prays. Every religion and faith has some form of prayer. So what is prayer by definition? Well, the Oxford English Dictionary defines prayer as one, a solemn request for help or expression of thanks addressed to God or another deity. Two, a religious service especially a regular one, at which people gather in order to pray together, or three, an earnest hope or wish. A simple Google search of the word prayer brings up almost 800 million results. You can narrow that down and just type in Christian prayer and you still get 350 million results. But what does prayer mean to us as Christians? If we generally look at our own prayer life, how are we engaging with prayer and how do we feel about it? When I lead a home group or a Lent group, and I know that others do likewise, I like to ask different people to lead us in prayer, so it's not always me talking, and because it's lovely to share in prayer as we discuss um, and share our ideas. Now, a couple of people will be quite happy um, to, to start us off by praying, but more often than not, we hear things like, I'm not good at praying, or I don't know what to say. And even recently, someone said, no, I, I can't do that, and then felt really bad about it for a whole week, thinking that they just didn't know how to pray. Now, I completely understand this. I share the same doubts. Extemporaneous prayer makes me really nervous. When I pray on my own, I pray as I speak, in colloquialisms and very informally. Now, to me, this seems much more natural to have that sort of relationship with God as a trusted friend or confidant. But I worry that I should formalise what I say more, perhaps speak to God more as I would a uh, headmaster as that's the way that formal intercessions seem to be structured. But it's not about what you say or how you say it. Prayer is your personal relationship with God. It's about having that open dialogue, being able to be open and honest with him and leave yourself open for God to speak to you. Praying out loud or in a group, there should be no fear of judgment what you've said isn't right or wrong. There is no right or wrong. There is no particular way that you should speak with the Father, only to speak what is on your heart, what is on our hearts. Now, Philip Yancey's done a lot of research on prayer and spoken to different Christians about their feelings towards prayer and their prayer lives. While some people throughout history have been completely devoted to prayer, Dedicating hours a day, most Christians admit to spending an average of five minutes a day in prayer, but concluded that this might not be an enjoyable time. Prayer time shouldn't be thought of as a chore. We should enjoy the time of day that we spend in conversation with God, telling him of the highs in our lives, as well as asking for help when things are more difficult, thanking him for all we have and sharing the joys of each day. Now Kay will be looking at this further in her blog tomorrow, but until then, enjoy your prayer time today. Try not to rush it as if it were a task. Just let's all enjoy spending time together talking to God. And I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.